Aloha, my name is Laulani Teal. Um, I'm with the Ho'opai Pono Peace Project. I work in community problem solving. Um, and I'm sure that this has been covered very well um, from what I've seen. I would just like to bring a couple of, um, a, a couple of points. So if, if you don't mind, I don't actually have enough copies for everyone, but if I could give you something. The first thing that I wanted to bring everyone's uh, attention to is, the, um, is a report dated the 23rd of April, 2014, and this is from the, um, this is from the, the Human Rights Committee of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights of the United Nations. Um, and basically, it reviewed a number of civil rights questions for the United States. Um, and this is an overall United Nations review, yeah. Um, so what I would like to draw your attention to is very short, and it's on page eight. It's point 19 of the findings, and this is, I want to um, say that this is the way that the United Nations, and basically I think we could say the world, that the world is viewing the treatment of houseless people in the United States. And I think that what's happening here is a reflection of that. So point 19 says, the criminalization of homelessness. Um, and it, it basically says, um, the, the committee is concerned about reports of criminalization of people living on the street for everyday activities, such as eating, sleeping, sitting in particular areas, etc. The committee notes that such criminalization raises concerns of discrimination and cruel, inhuman, or degrading treatment, and it cites several human rights violations that that pertains to. This is, these are the international standards. Yeah? Um, its recommendation is that the state party, uh, otherwise the, the, um, the city or uh, state district should, A, abolish the laws and policies criminalizing homelessness at state and local levels. B, ensure close cooperation among all relevant stakeholders, including social, health, law enforcement, and justice professionals at all levels to intensify efforts to find solutions for the homeless in accordance with human rights standards, and C, offer incentives for decriminalization and the implementation of such solutions including by providing continued financial support to local authorities that implement alternatives to criminalization and, and I think the city should take note of this, their recommendation is withdrawing funding from local authorities that criminalize the homeless. So I think that you know, the international position on these measures is very, very clear. And I don't think that it should be ignored. It should be taken um, into account and taken very, very seriously. Um, I mean, you don't have to have a copy of the Kanawe Mamalo I accidentally passed them off. I would have to ask you to come to a conclusion. Okay, absolutely. Um, I also passed out a copy of, um, of Kanawe Mamalo Hoi the um which is thank you which is uh this is the first law of hawaii this is the law upon which all other laws are based it was declared by kamehameha the first and i just like to conclude by reading that because i think it's not unclear at all it says e nakanaka E malama o koi ke akua, a e malama hoi ke kanaka nui a me kanaka iki, e hele ka ele makule, ka luahine, a me ke kama, a moi ike ala, a ohe mea nana e ho opilikia, 
Hevano Make. And translated, that means, O people, honor and care for God, care for the divine, respect the rights of the powerful and those who are humble as the same. May our aged, our women, and our children go forth and lay upon any path without being harmed or troubled. Break this law and die. That is the law of Hawaii upon which all other laws are based. It is designed to protect the weak from the strong. And I ask you as the strong to please protect those who it is your obligation to protect. Mahalo. Thank you. Thank you for your testimony. Members, any questions for the testifier? Not, thank you.